Lab directors go to bed early on Friday night. I was woken up by a phone call at 10 o'clock at night. It very quickly became apparent this was not a problem phone call. A, an elated voice on the other end of the phone said, we have a laser. It went so beautifully, I just can't believe it. It's just, well, we were all dumbfounded. We were standing there dumbfounded, looking at the light. My expectation, based on the turn on of other FELs, was that this could take days or weeks. I thought the first signs of lasing would be subtle. In fact, it was blasting. This is not shy. This is a very uh, confident instrument, and it's been fantastic. Among the other shockingly good results we got, after going home Friday night at 11.30, coming back in and pulling out the shutter to let the electron beam back into the undulator, and the X-ray laser just came right back, right where we left it. I think we were all shocked by how smoothly it went. I mean, I had read enough Greek tragedies to understand hubris, and I was a little bit afraid to sound as optimistic as I felt based on the results had, that had been attained, attained earlier. Laser light is only the beginning of the story. We now want to take the tool that's being developed and do science with it. This X-ray free electron laser is uncharted territory. For the first time, we will be studying atoms, where they are, and what they're doing on time scales that atoms are actually doing things. This is the future of the laboratory for the decade to come. The Linac Coherent Light Source is a tool not just for Stanford or even for the US. The Linac Coherent Light Source is a tool for the world.